boom here we are baby daily grind how is everybody i hope everybody's having a wonderful day today make sure you are always staying positive being happy and believing yourself so this week we're doing all body weight exercises for every muscle. So basically I'm gonna do a push pull. So yesterday was a push. I did uh, chest and triceps. Um, a little bit of shoulders, of course. That's part of it, doing that. Um, it's kind of hard to sp specifically work on, you know, that muscle group of shoulders when you're doing um, like body weight, especially for someone like me, because I can't really do handstand push-ups, but I can do pike push-ups. I can put my body in an angle where I can trigger my uh, shoulders. So that's what I'm doing. So today's uh, back and biceps. So uh, let's get at it. All right, right here I'm gonna do what I call body weight uh, deadlifts. Now deadlifts with dumbbells that I do, go come to the floor so you get a stretch, and then I put the weights, momentum going behind me so I can sit up. And once I sit up, I just squeeze my back together and do it again. So for a body weight um, deadlift I'm going to do, I can do it on the rings. I've got them just enough high enough, so watch how I go down and get the stretch. This is the stretch right here. And as I come up, right there's a squeeze. Squeeze. Now, it looks kind of easy as I'm getting back up, but I'm pulling my elbows back to pull myself up and squeeze that back. I'm, I can feel my upper abdominals working too right now, so that's really good. So again, stretch, squeeze, two, stretch, squeeze, three, stretch, four, five. Oh man, and I feel like I'm like when I get here, I feel like I'm gonna keep falling back, but I just tighten up and try to get up. So I call that body weight deadlift. All right, now I'm gonna uh, do like more of my middle back, somewhat of my lower too, by changing the angles. So now I'm gonna do like a hammer grip uh, row, my body weight, but then I'm also gonna turn my hands reverse grip to pull and work on a little bit lower uh, lats. Just triggering different parts of my back with the same exercise, but just in different angles. That's all you need to do is just get in different angles to trigger those different muscles. You can use machines, anything. This week, I'm using nothing but body weight, showing you guys different exercises to do these exercises with just your body weight. Even if you're in a wheelchair, check this shit out. I mean, come on. So here we go. So I'll start off five, hammer grip, pull, squeeze, one. Get a good stretch. Four, five. Now I'm turn. I'm gonna turn revert. Uh, reverse grip. Pull. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Last thing I want to do is uh, for my traps, using my body weight. So again. It's all about mind and muscle connection, getting in those angles so you can trigger those muscles. So for me, there's all different ways to do this. For right now, I'm gonna show you this exercise on, on one way I train my traps and my body weight. So I'm gonna get into a, you know, um, kind of like an incline um, ring row, but I'm gonna just pull with my traps. So like here, I get a good stretch in my traps and just pull one, two. It's a good stretch. And like I said, just squeeze.
Oh, there we go. Look at those things. Oh yeah, I can feel them nice and tight. Really working. You can train your body in any way. You just gotta go after it. There's all different ways, man. I am an all around uh, adaptive athlete, trainer. I can train anybody with a disability without in every aspect of training. Bodybuilding, CrossFit, um, calisthenics, you name it. I got you. I hope everyone's having a great day today. All right, now we're moving on to body weight biceps. So, I'm gonna do three exercises. I'm gonna trigger my biceps. Uh, right now, I'm basically gonna do something where if you were doing weights, you would do an incline um, hammer curl, incline bench hammer curl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in an incline position with the ring rows, and because they're the rings, I can keep my hand in a hammer position. So as I pull, I'm pulling my bicep. When I get like parallel, maybe a little bit past um, 90 degrees, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really squeeze that bicep. Now again, I'm not pulling with my elbows, I'm trying to pull with my biceps in the hammer position. Here we go. gets real fatigued because I'm pulling with my biceps, not pulling with my elbows and my back. I'm trying to just pull to the bicep and squeeze. It's a real good pump. All right, now we're moving on to another body weight uh, bicep exercise. So this would be just like if you were on an incline bench doing a uh, straight arm or alternating um, dumbbell curls. I'm gonna use my body weight. I'm staying in an incline position with the rings. I'm gonna keep my hands reverse grip toward me and pull up my biceps, not my elbows. Keep the position. Reverse, pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Bodies get blown out from that. All right, uh, I'm gonna uh, do one more bicep workout with my body weight, but I'm actually gonna add weight. So I'm gonna keep my wheelchair to me and I'm gonna do straight up and down like a, like a straight arm um, curl or basically a straight arm easy curl bar. But I'm using my body weight and I'm gonna add weight so I'm keeping my chair to me. Oh man, so my body, I get tired a lot quicker because again, I'm not pulling my back, I'm pulling my biceps. So that really fatigues me.